Give us the wisdom, Lord. At the end of this teaching, showcase your light and birth in more mentors. That the mentors and the mentees will know that opportunities are here for us to arise and emerge and expand and build up to be all glory to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And I want to thank God for all the testimonies tonight. Because those testimonies all lead to the topic tonight about mentoring. When we have situations of transition, uh, it could be physical transition, it could be an emotional transition, financial transition, job-related transition, business transition, transitions will occur. The wisdom is to be prepared when transition occur, so that way we are not forced out before our time. So one will say to yourself tonight, in this part, plan as all depends on planning, pray as all depends on prayer. But these are some of the key things that are supposed to drive success in the things that we do. So that way we don't see transition as something bad, but we see it as something that is there. It will occur. I was dealing with a gentleman and we are discussing in depth about some of the uh, Christian businesses that have gone to food or gone bad and sour. And the problem with that was because there was a lack of mentoring or there was a lack of understanding the full scope that our life is alone on earth. So we are not made to be here permanently. We are citizens of heaven. We are set up here to carry out certain tasks. And when we are done, we will go back where the Lord has made for us. So tonight, I'm going to share quickly. If I have the opportunity, I'll finish up the module. But if not, we will make it one and two. We want to look into mentoring. See, the ministry expands. The work expands. Your business expands. However, whatever you are, just know that God set you up there. And I want you to look at this from different part now. Whether, whether it's part of the seven pillars, whether it's part of the church, whether it's part as a pastor, as a prophet, as a teacher, as a business person. I want you to open up your mind to see mentoring in its way and also look at God's way of mentoring. Hallelujah. Mentoring by its definition, our perspective is a reciprocal. It's a reciprocal and collaborative will at will relationship i will kind of say that one more time it's an at will relationship that often occurs between senior and junior minister senior and junior business person senior and junior disciple and the purpose is for the mentee's growth one more time the purpose is for the mentee's growth the purpose is for the mentee's learning. The purpose is for the mentee's ministry. The purpose is for the mentee's career development. And that is important for us to know the reason why one would say, I want to mentor somebody. It could be because you do know that a transition will come. So you rather take some time to mentor this person. Now follow me here. So a mentor and his mentee, could be an internal part of an organization just like the network, part of the ministry, part of the church, part of the business. You have an, you have an idea that you have to be part of a group. So as much as the mentor and the mentee is concerned, there is clarity when it comes down to the goals. Hallelujah. There is clarity between the mentor and the mentee. And these words today... Basically, the church somehow have forgotten about this. Some business have forgotten about this. So everybody have grown, forgotten about what is called an apprentice, right? Everybody moving, everybody hears from God, everybody knows everything. But at the end of the day, when the leading or the person that have carried out or brought the vision is out in place, the whole thing collapsed because there's no mentoring process that is in place as part of the overall thing. And this could happen in families also, where a father or a son or a daughter 
will have an opportunity to have a mentoring. So mentoring is not just limited to somebody outside. Mentoring can be also established internally as part of a family process. And that's important because why? Because the vision is clear. The goals are clear. And hold this, hold this, hold this. The culture is vital. Oh, hallelujah. The culture in place. I want to get through some scriptures here. Just want to make sure that we get the basics straight. The culture is important. The ministry goals, the career goals of the mentee is important because a mentor cannot mentor, cannot mentor the mentee without putting a perspective of a project. The advice is important and the development. Of course, when all is said and done, the balance between work and that particular time you're spending. Why is this important? Because the Lord has leveled this in my heart that this got to be taught than just give it like two seconds and just move on. And then we see situations that will call and it will become, we have a lot of super pastors, we have a lot of super bishops, we have a lot of super ministers, we have a lot of super businessmen and women that what happens when something is no longer there, is missing, and then the whole thing falls apart and the center cannot hold. So we have three effective. We have an effective mentors, we have mentoring, and we have again mentoring, which is not coaching. But let me go to some biblical perspective and I'm going to go back and forth to give you some of these guidance. I believe that they are important. Okay? And I also want to share with you tonight why mentoring is important. And if it is possible, we have to find a mentor. Now, mentoring, of course, will also put in place the knowledge about God. It will involve showing people how to love and serve God. If this is a mentoring for God's purpose, you will show people. The scripture put it clear that Jesus went on doing good. I love that. When he said Jesus went on doing good. He didn't say Jesus went on doing bad. Jesus went on doing good. And when he went on doing good, people we are following him. He was mentoring them by showing them. The biggest mentoring factor is a practical one. Mentoring by showing we're going to be looking at those, the, 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 the three different ones. But let me just go to the scripture here in the book of Deuteronomy 6, verse 4 to 9. So we do know the concept of mentoring is in the Old Testament. The biblical perspective of it. He said, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God. The Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. And this is the commandment that I give unto you today so that's a command it's not something that is optional to be in your hearts in, it said, impress them on your children <laughs> it didn't say just say it, impress them it means plant them into the life of your children basically this is God saying to you I want you to mentor your young ones with my word talk about them when you are at, when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up, tie them in their symbols at the hands and bind them in your foreheads. Write them to the door frames of your houses and on your gates. Do you see that? So basically, this type of mentoring is an in it, it's deeper than the ones we probably have heard about. You just have a few minutes. I want to talk about the different ways, but this is one of the key thoughts when it comes down to some of the biblical principles. The New Testament, the book of Matthew, chapter 22, 36, says, Teacher, which is the greatest commandment of all, replied, Love the Lord your God with your heart and with your soul and with your mind. And this is the first and great commandment, greatest commandment. And the second one is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. And all the prophets hang on on these two principles. There's a course that I do have with principles of ministry. We teach, we teach about relationship there. But I believe everybody here probably have gone through those projects and knows them. That's why I'm focusing specifically on the ingredients. And I know that will work for everyone. So relationship in this case is important for us to establish this command. Ecclesiastes 4.9 says, two are better than one. Hallelujah. Because they have a good return for their labor. If every of them falls down, one help the other. But pity is anyone who fell and no one to help them out. Do you remember the story of Moses? Hallelujah. 
and the story of one of the greatest one that served him called Joshua. Well, Joshua was a mentee for Moses. And he followed him all the way to the mountain. He knows the Moses by heart. He knows how Moses processes things. It's his mentoring by doing and not talking. Today's world, we have many mentors that are online. Some are real, some are not real. We have so many mentors, everybody is their spiritual father, then they are loyal to nobody. Right? You have people today call this person their father. This, everybody is their father. Okay, but they are meant they are loyal to nobody and they don't do anything, they just call them the father for what I call they are no accountability, of course. You better don't tell them that something they are doing is wrong, and they're gonna be they're gonna they're gonna cut you off like a hot potato, they're gonna drop you. Use that right word. And they in quote will use the name when it favors them. Oh, I am with this bishop, I'm with this apostle. They're gonna call all those things, and those are all nice, but there's really no mentoring that's been in place. But what I've been in place is user of names and user of title and user of opportunity. And when this occurs, there's no really fellowship happening. It is just opportunity that is all coming up. So we don't have sometimes some of these things are being real. Ecclesiastics, again, go back. Proverbs 27 uh, say to us, and iron sharpens iron, so one will sharpen another. You see that? So there is a connection in sharpening in there. I myself am convinced, my brothers and sisters, Romans 15 says, that you yourself are full of goodness, filled with knowledge, and competent to instruct one another. So mentoring involves some sort of instruction. Hallelujah. It involves some sort of guidance. It involves some sort of principles. Who are you listening to? And why are you following them? The mentoring part between I mean, uh, uh, what's it, Elijah and Elisha is one of the most impactful ones. Take your time to read it again. Listen to this. There were so many men that were pursuing Elijah. We all know that. As a matter of fact, there was something called the school of prophets. Look, read it in that. There were sons of the prophet. They actually followed. This is a group of people who are trained as prophets. But there's only one that followed Elijah closely through a mentoring process. So you can have a church full of people and only one or two are the ones that you are mentoring directly because they understand the connection, because they understand the process and they are willing to lay down and follow the guiding principles that involve in mentoring. Mentoring is not just all like hogging every time as many will time to be saying the right words and making sure everybody is happy. I have nothing to do with that. Let me break down a couple of things here because I'm trying to work with our time. We have effective mentors. Often they act as role models. All right. And sound them boss for all their mentees and produce guidance to help them reach their goals. An effective mentor who is the one that will provide guidance for you. Let's focus on Elijah and Elisha. Remember what he, the principles he told him? When he said, I want your gift today, what? Oh, Apostle did it. We want what this person got. Oh, Brother Hagin, he did an incredible job. He was great. He wrote 10,000 books. Everybody want to be like him, but how many folks really got close to understanding the things that drove him, the things that guided him? Anybody want to be part of, pray for me, I want to attract the gift. But they don't want to be part of the process. Right? So effective mentors, they are role models. And they know they have to provide guidance to help their mentees to reach their goal. 